on your mark. Get set. Go! Get it in there! Yo, the ladle. Who? The first of these two teams to ladle the liquid into their partner's cup will scoop up the lead with 20 bucks. And control of the only show on TV wearing, marrying messed up milk can win you great prizes. Yes, it's Double Dare. Four people. Who's got it past the line? Once you think you might, lift the cup up just to shade and we will be watching with our judges. We have a winner over here. Yes, you have filled it past the line. Look, yeah, well, you spilled it now, but that's okay. You can hand that uh, right down there and move on back and let's play some Double Dare. And now, here's your Double Dare host, Mark Summers. Hi there. Hello. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you, audience. Welcome to Double Dare. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. One, two, three, four. Say hello to our teams. To my right, they call themselves the Big Boppers, RJ and Lisa. RJ obviously is a well, you know, determined young man because when he auditioned for this program, how high was your temperature? 104. Good grief. I'm surprised they let you out of the house. What was wrong with you? I had a sore throat and a cough and a fever. Yeah, obviously. there. <laughs> but you're feeling all right now? Yeah. Okay, good. Nice to have you. Are you toured the New England States? Was that recently or what? Yeah, um, last summer with my dad. Um, and, like, one of my favorite parts was Battleship Cove in Fall River, Massachusetts. It's beautiful there. Lisa, you play the flute, and uh, how long have you been doing that? About two years. You like that? Mm hmm It's fun. I love the sound of a flute. You have no money yet. That'll change as time goes on. Say hello to a team that calls themselves, I like this name, the Radical Raisins, Jessica and Raul. <laughs> Jessica uh, does something that I've always been curious about. You have a pen pal, right? Yeah, she Where? lives in Texas. And how did this whole thing start? Well, she moved there last year, and we were best friends before she moved, and so we just read each other all the time. That's nice. And Raul, now, they must really think I'm stupid on this show. They, they write little things down here, and it says, wants to be a surgeon, and then parentheses, doctor. Like, I didn't know what that was or something. He wants to be a sturgeon, wants to be a fish. I don't know. What kind of doctor do you want to be, Raul? Um, I don't know. Yeah, just just, just want to be a doctor. doctor. Huh? Yeah. Any particular reason you want to be a doctor? Well, my mom wants me to become a doctor, and I like it. Oh, good. Okay. Some people say, I need a doctor. Who knows? Well, let's talk about this show where Daring for Dollars will double your bucks, and here's how that works. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to both teams. We have the Radical Raisins in control. Don't be ridiculous is a favorite saying of what comedic TV character? We can dare them. Dare. Now we're 20. Don't be ridiculous is a favorite saying of what comedic TV character? Double dare. Now worth $40. Who says that? Or you can take the physical challenge. Bronson Pinchot? Uh, what's his TV name? That's oh. what we're looking for, TV character. Belky Bartokamus. You got it. Yes, add uh, $40. Nice job. Did you just come up with that at the last minute, or were yeah. you playing strategy? I knew. You knew. Okay. <laughs> Clever guy. He knew all along. They have $60. Which president of the United States had the nickname Father of His Country? Worth Tanner, you can dare them. Quickly before time runs out. George Washington. Yes, you're right. You have added 10 more, and now you have $70. Radical Raisins doing well. Fireflies aren't really flies. What kind of insects are they? It's worth Tanner, you can dare them. Dare. Now worth $20. Fireflies, they're not really flies. What kind of insects are they? Double dare. Now worth $40. Fireflies are not really flies. What kind of insects are they, or do you want to take the physical challenge? Physical challenge. Well, they're, they're beetles, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they are, the beetles. That's what they are. And you know, I think it's time for a physical challenge right over here. And out far, I bring our little topo, T. Joe. You know who the beetles are, don't you? Yes. You know who Ed Sullivan is, of course, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Who's Ed Sullivan? <laughs> oh, see? He used to host a TV show. Who does Robin look like over there? Maxwell Smart? That was the loudest, loudest stage whisper I've ever heard. Anyway, who wants to get dressed up in that ridiculous outfit? I will. Oh, good. You put that on right over there. And uh, what I'm going to do is give this to you because I want you to step right down over here. And we want you to put that on your head, if you would, please. And uh, once you put that on their head, yes, can you... Uh, Robin, does this thing go under his chin? Yeah, I think that's it. Robin knows how to do this much better than I. And by the way, in case you're wondering about this tie, uh, it is a little strange, but uh, Abby, the young lady who works backstage, bought this at a thrift shop for 10 cents. Don't you think it's worth 
right there, ladies and gentlemen, huh? A 10 cent high. Definitely, huh? Okay, now we have this uh, little pin hat uh, contraption on your head, and you are going to find the contraband. And the contraband is a chocolate balloon. And what you have to do in 10 seconds is start popping balloons on top of this gentleman's head. If you find the chocolate one, you get the money. Otherwise, it goes to the other side. We have other liquids in there, but we're looking for the rich, dark brown chocolate. Okay? Yes. Good. On your mark. Get set. Go. Find it and pop them on your head. And uh, that's not it. Find another balloon. That uh, looks like lemonade. Uh, is that it? Yes, that's it. You got it. The second one. And I'm getting it all over me. You look terrific. Turn around. How'd that feel? Oh, oh, oh. That's it. I got it all over me. We'll clean this mess up. And we'll come back with more lemonade. Right after this. All right? All right. Let's go. All right. All We are still in round one where the Radical Raisins, the team of Jessica and Raul, are just doing terrific. And in case you always wanted to know what some of these people look like backstage, and the lady who gave me this tie, follow me. Uh, she's right back here. Where's Abby? Is Abby back here? Yes, here's Abby. Hi, Abby. This is Abby. Uh, she works back here and puts all these things together. And she's the nice lady who bought me this tie. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Appreciate that. That was nice of her, don't you agree? Ten cents. She spent ten cents on this whole thing. Anyway, we have to uh, carry on with a $10 question for the Radical Raisins. According to the American Slang Dictionary, what does gobbledygook mean? Is it the ability to make green slime, a disregard for table manners, or to make scarcely intelligible language? Gobbledygook. B. B, to disregard uh, table manners. Uh, no, this is not true. It's to make scarcely intelligible language. And let's put, uh, no, no money goes over there. No dare at stake, no money changing place. I'll figure out the rules here in just a few moments. Control goes to the big bopper. Alan Fawcett or Alan Fawcett uh, hosts what lip syncing TV show? Putting on the hits. You are right. He will be very happy that you knew that. Putting on the hits. If you believe the old saying, what happens if you step on a crack? Break your mother's back. That's right. Step on a crack, you break your mother's back. Where oh, that came from. Jeff Labar, Eric Brittenham, Tom Kelfer, and Fred Corey are members of what hard rock group with the same name as a girl with a midnight curfew? Would bring you up to 30. Dare. Now we're 20. Jeff Labar, Eric Brittenham, Tom Kelfer, and Fred Corey. They're members of what hard rock group with the same name as a girl with a midnight curfew? Cinderella. You are right. At $20, 130 is what you have now. Cinderella, Cinderella. What are chickweed, pokeweed, and stinging nettle? Are they the European little rascals, edible wild plants, or breeds of insects? It's worth 10 or you could dare them. Edible wild plants? Ah, uh, you are right. Add ten dollars. That was amazing. I don't know you could eat chickweed. How bizarre is that? In what city is the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center located? But bring you to one fifty. There. Now worth twenty. Bring you up to forty dollars. In what city is the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center located? Double dare. Now worth forty. Where can you find this place? Or you can take a, a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's in Houston. That's where it is. In Houston, Texas, says Walter Cronkite would say it's Houston, Texas. What's the way it is? Modern space flight. And uh, down here we have a container. And you know what's in that container? Balloons. My goodness. How did you know that? I saw them put them in. You saw them put them in. Then what kind of balloons are they? Colored. <laughs> Colored balloons. You know what else they have in them? Slime? No, you're right. It's helium. Helium. And when you open that up, what's going to happen? They're all going to go up in the air, right? And if I lift it too high, you'll lose every one of them. So you can only lift them to that point. And here's the physical challenge. One of you will start over here, and one will stand behind the line. I'll give you... Uh, how much time do we give them? 30 seconds? Yes, you have 30 seconds to get five balloons from that side of the stage to the other side of the stage. And when that buzzer rings or before, if that person is holding on to five helium balloons, you get the money, okay? Who wants to do what? Quickly, quickly. You're going to go over there. You go over there. So you have to hold on. Now, don't forget, if you let go, they're going to fly up in the air. And if you lift this too high, they're all going to fly up. So be careful. 30 seconds, five balloons, $40 at stake. On your mark. Get set. Go. Get in there. <laughs>
get forty dollars. Let's carry on here. You know what? That sound means that that is the end of round one. And with one hundred forty dollars, the And that means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this particular sound right here, that means the game is over. Well, what do we have over here? Ping pong balls. And uh, you want to explain this physical challenge? Who, me? Sure, why not? You have to bounce the ping pong ball over and get in the egg carton. That's right. And the first team that does that gets how much money? $40. And control of round? Two. Very good. This man is good. All right. Yes. Let's get started. On your mark. Get set. Go. Get over there. and a twenty dollar question what name is given to the lines that represent the angular distance north or south of the equator <coughs> excuse me longitude ah uh, it's latitude 50 50 oh. shot and uh, that means no money uh, changing place but control goes over here to rj and lisa what was the sequel to the movie national lampoon's vacation National Lampoon's European Vacation. At twenty dollars, nice job. You now have eighty, and you are only one hundred dollars behind. The Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar is the most widely used calendar in the world. Who was it named after? Was it Pope Gregory the Eighth, Gregory the Great, or the Brady Bunch's oldest son? A. Pope Gregory the Eighth is correct. You now have one hundred dollars. The Big Boppers making their move. Jim J. Bullock, a regular on Hollywood Squares, was seen regularly on what TV situation comedy? Too Close for Comfort. Yes, $120. <laughs> I sat next to him on, on uh, Hollywood Squares when I was uh, lucky enough to do that. And uh, I've known him, uh, Rob and Dave, how long have I known Jim Bullock? Ten years. Ten years, thank you. Okay, I just wondered how long that was. Uh, what great river separates the western border of Texas from Mexico? It's worth sure. Please? What great river separates the western border of Texas from Mexico? The Rio Grande River. I'm an old cow hand from the Rio Grande. That's right. Good job. Tell me, R.J. and Lisa, in what professional sport can you be penalized for icing, slashing, and high sticking? Would we'll bring you to 160. Ice hockey. You are right. You now have 160. The Big Boppers playing a magnificent game. They are only $20 behind now. They could tie it up on this question. A newborn baby giraffe is approximately how tall? Two feet, four feet, or six feet? There. Now worth $40. A newborn baby giraffe is approximately how tall? Two feet, four feet, six feet? Or you could double dare them back. B. Four feet is incorrect. Put $40 over here. The answer is six feet. You now have the lead by $20. In what country can you visit the Taj Mahal? India. Yes, $220 now for the Big Boppers, RJ and Lisa. Okay, what was the name of the family featured in the movie, The Sound of Music? Well, you can dare them. Dare. Now, $40, this would tie the game. What was the name of the family featured in the movie? Double. The Double dare? Double dare. No, that's incorrect. <laughs> it was the Von Trapp family, and that sound means with $220, the Big Boppers won today's game of Double Dare. Come from behind victory, $110 apiece. More important, a trip to the Double Dare obstacle course. Jessica Raul, it was a great game. It came down to that giraffe thing, and you know, you played it right. You had to jump in at that point, and you did everything you could. Congratulations, you were great contestants, $90 apiece. And Harvey, let's give them something nice, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
there. The Big Boppers came from behind. They are at the Double Dare Obstacle Course, and RJ and Lisa are going to do this in 60 seconds, right? Yes. Good. Let's get started. Who's going through the ringer? You are. Okay. Now, your job, then, is to push her through by using that crank on the other side, and you will slide down all this goop, and you will have that flag in your hand as you go down. That means you'll pick up time. And, Harvey, what will they pick up on this particular Mark. object? We'll start them off with a $150 TV gift certificate. Ready to go to find great toys, TV toy stores. Ready to go to find TV toy stores, your nearest shopping mall, TV American toy store. Lake Double Dare is yours, RJ, and you must dive in that little boat, and I promise, well, let's get this guy out of here right now. Help me, help me. And you uh, get in there and uh, get all the way across and pull off that flag, and then you'll pass it to Lisa, and then you'll win this. Bushnell sleek and compact Limage binoculars. Exciting designer colors that fit today's lifestyle. New vision of the 80s with fashion sweatshirt and sunglasses from Bushnell. Hi there, what's your name? Jeannie. Jeannie, you know, I meant to get over to that section. We never got a chance to sign autographs today. I got all the other sections, but we ran out of time. So what I want you to do is demonstrate this. So I want you to hop up there, all right? You can do this, Jeannie. I know you can. And I want you to just swing across, putting your foot in there, and she can grab the flag on the other side. Cheer on, audience. Let's go. Oh! Yeah, very good. It's not as easy as it looks. So do we have a T-shirt for Jeannie? Like this? You okay? Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks for being here. And Harvey, what will they win when they do this successfully? Yeah, We have Kid Wash, obstacle number four, and uh, you will go all the way through those rollers and push yourself through because it's really tight. Just go on through, and uh, over here is where the flag is. Come over here. I want you to see where it is. Pull that down. Before you go through the dryer, pass it. You'll pick up more time. And, Harvey, what's the prize this time? It's Coyote's All-Terrain Bicycle from Bicycle Corporation of America. A great bike with 10 speeds to take you anywhere, on road or off. Coyote, America's bike. Lisa, you get the sewer chute. Turn around. Take a look at this tube. You must crawl through there very quickly. Pull on that rope. Down comes the surprise as well as the flag. Look down towards your feet. If you hear me knock it in there, that means it's stuck somewhere and go on through. Come down here and it says hard to hold down. Look at all this terrible goop. It looks like bad Chinese food. Come through with your hand. Push that flag over to your partner, RJ, and you'll win this. The Nintendo. <laughs> is the big cheese and what you have to do is crawl up this little mouse hole and somewhere up there is a flag it's hanging and uh, you will find it on the other side pass that over to your partner and then you'll win this fabulous prize from casio the dg10 digital guitar features include 12 instrument sounds 12 background rhythms dg10 has plenty of fret neck and sustained reverb effects then we move over to Granny's Attic, and inside this great big trunk, if I can lift it open, uh, some articles of clothing. Now, we would never hide it inside an article. If you just start throwing that clothing everywhere, you will find a flag buried somewhere there. This is Obstacle 7. You want to get to 8, but let's find out what the prize is here. Mark, it's gold. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, over here is buried treasure, and somewhere buried under this sand, by the alligator, by that shoe, who knows, is a flag. If you have that flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, what's the grand prize today? <laughs> are going to slop it up in just a matter of seconds. They have 60 seconds. Concentrate. Think about when you're going to exchange those flags. Good luck. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go! Right on.
additional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Double Dare. And also by Foot Locker, America's most complete athletic footwear store. On the cutting edge of style and performance, come to the stripes at Foot Locker. And also by Tyco Industries. Tyco's four-wheel drive super turbo hopper. Big 112 scale provides four-wheel drive, four-wheel suspension, and twin turbo motors. And it's from Tyco. This is your announcer, Harvey, saying join us back here next time. It's slime time in the valley right here on Double Dare. See ya. Red Time.